Watch this. One click and the entire page becomes a 3D card. See those three layers peeling apart at different depths? That's not a library. That's pure CSS magic. And I'm about to show you the simple trick that makes this entire 3D transformation possible. Let's build it together. Now let me show you the HTML setup, and it's surprisingly simple. We have a navbar up top, our main content container, and then here's the secret sauce. These two extra divs called Shadow 1 and Shadow 2. This is what creates that beautiful layer depth effect you just saw. Most developers would use just one shadow, but we're using three layers total, the main content plus these two shadow layers that peel away at different depths. Now look at the links section. Notice this inline style on each link style dash dash i 0.05s. That's a CSS custom property. We're passing animation delays directly in the HTML. This is how we get that beautiful staggered reveal effect without writing six separate animations or complex JavaScript. Now for the JavaScript, and it's just five lines. That's it. Let me walk you through it. We grab the hamburger menu, we grab the container, and when someone clicks the hamburger, we simply toggle a class called active. Every single animation you just saw, the 3D transformation, the layered shadows, the staggered links, all triggered by this one class. JavaScript just flips the switch and CSS does all the heavy lifting. This is the beauty of modern web development. Minimal JavaScript, maximum visual impact. Now, if you want to truly master 3D motion in CSS and understand how perspective, transform style, and 3D transforms work under the hood, I have a full dedicated video breaking down all the CSS 3D concepts you need to know. I'll put that link in the description so you can check it out after this tutorial to level up your 3D animation skills even further. Now we're going to focus on understanding the core animation concepts in our CSS. The 3D transforms, the perspective magic, and how we orchestrate this entire visual symphony with just a few clever properties. Let's start with our foundation. I'm importing the Poppins font for that clean, modern typography and doing a quick CSS reset to remove default margins and padding. Now I'm setting up our color palette using CSS custom properties. These variables control everything from the deep navy backgrounds to the accent blues and text colors. Now for our container, this becomes our 3D stage. The key property here is transform style preserve 3D. This tells the browser to maintain 3D positioning for all child elements. Without this, our 3D transforms would flatten out and we'd lose that beautiful layered depth effect. It's the foundation that makes everything else possible. The nav bar stays fixed at the top with high Z index, ensuring it's always visible. The menu uses Flexbox to space out our logo and hamburger icon perfectly. The hamburger is built with pure CSS, one central bar with two pseudo elements above and below. These three lines will transform into our close icon with just one class toggle. Now for the main content, this is where the 3D magic happens. The transform origin left property is crucial. It tells the browser to rotate this element like a door swinging open from the left side. If we use transform origin center, it would spin like a wheel. But we want that natural book opening feel, so left origin gives us exactly that door swinging motion we're after. And crucially, transform style preserve 3D tells the browser to maintain 3D positioning for all child elements inside our main container. The header creates our full screen hero section with a subtle dark gradient overlay. I'm using CSS grid to center everything perfectly and the padding accounts for our fixed nav bar height. The overlay uses Flexbox to position our content with responsive padding that scales from 2rem to 6rem based on viewport height. The inner container centers our text with a max width for optimal readability, while the title uses a crisp white to stand out against the dark background. The button uses our accent color with a subtle inner glow and shadow for depth. The links container is positioned absolutely on the right side, taking up 30% of the screen width and full viewport height. It's centered using Flexbox for perfect alignment. The links start hidden with opacity zero and slightly offset downward. They'll animate in when the menu opens, 
with hover states that brighten the text color for clear interaction feedback. Now let's talk about shadows behind the main content. These shadow divs are our secret weapon for depth. They're positioned absolutely to cover the entire viewport with the same transform origin as our main content. Each shadow has a different Z index and starts completely invisible. When activated, they'll peel away at different distances, creating that beautiful 3D book opening effect with multiple layers of depth. For the link focus, this focus visible rule ensures keyboard users get clear visual indicators when navigating our menu. The outline uses our ring color with proper offset for visibility. Unlike regular focus, focus visible only shows outlines when needed, avoiding visual clutter for mouse users while keeping navigation clear for keyboard and screen reader users. Now for the moment of truth, when we click the hamburger and toggle that active class. This single class change triggers our entire 3D transformation. Watch what happens to our hamburger icon when the active class is applied. The center bar rotates 360 degrees and becomes transparent, while the top and bottom bars rotate to form a perfect X. The top pseudo element rotates 45 degrees downward, and the bottom rotates negative 45 degrees upward, meeting in the middle to create that clean, close icon. It's a classic hamburger to close transformation, but with that extra 360 degree spin for flair, this visual cue immediately tells users the menu is open and can be closed, creating that intuitive toggle experience we expect from modern interfaces. When active, our main content undergoes a dramatic 3D transformation. It rotates 20 degrees on the Y axis while moving forward 310 pixels in 3D space and scaling down to half size. The perspective 1300 pixels creates our 3D camera. It determines how dramatic the 3D effect appears. A smaller perspective value would make the rotation more extreme while larger values soften the effect. The keyframe animation ensures a smooth transition from the normal state to our 3D transformed state. The cursor changes to pointer, inviting users to interact, while overflow hidden keeps everything contained during the transformation. This combination of rotate Y, translate Z, and scale creates that perfect book opening illusion. The content appears to swing open like a page while moving closer and shrinking to make room for our navigation panel. When the menu activates, the overlay switches to absolute positioning. This ensures it stays perfectly aligned with our transformed main content, maintaining that dark overlay effect even as the page rotates in 3D space. Now watch our navigation links come to life. When active, each link triggers the appear animation, fading in while sliding up into position. The magic is in variable I, that custom property we set in our HTML. Each link gets a slightly longer delay, creating that beautiful cascading effect where links appear one after another. The animation lasts 0.5 seconds with an ease curve for natural movement. From completely invisible and offset to fully visible and perfectly positioned. This staggered reveal doesn't just look beautiful, it guides the user's eye through the menu options in a logical sequence, making the navigation feel intuitive and carefully crafted. Now let's look at our first shadow layer. When active, it animates to a position 215 pixels deep in 3D space with 8% opacity, creating that subtle depth behind our main content. The keyframes reveal the magic. It starts flat, quickly jumps to 310 pixels deep at 5% of the animation, then settles back to 215 pixels. This quick overshoot creates a natural spring-like motion. By positioning this shadow closer than our main content, but further than the second shadow, we create that beautiful layered book effect. The different depths make the 3D transformation feel more realistic and dimensional. The second shadow follows the same pattern, but with key differences. It settles at just 120 pixels deep with 4% opacity, creating that deeper layer of depth. With the first shadow at 215 pixels and this one at 120 pixels, we get that true book-like separation. The lower opacity on this deeper layer makes it feel further away, enhancing the 3D illusion. Both shadows use the same 0.6 seconds duration and ease out timing, but their different keyframe delays create that orchestrated layered movement that makes the entire transformation feel cohesive and intentional. 
Now for the final touch, interactive hover states. When you hover over the main content while the menu is open, both the content and the first shadow layer respond. The main content moves forward to 340 pixels, while the first shadow adjusts to 230 pixels. This creates a dynamic depth effect that makes the 3D space feel alive and responsive to user interaction. If you enjoyed this deep dive into 3D CSS animations, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. I'm putting out new content every week that breaks down complex web development concepts into simple, buildable steps. And that's how we built this stunning 3D drawer navigation from scratch. From the perspective transforms to the layered shadows and staggered animations, every piece working together to create that magical book opening effect. Which part helped the most today? Getting the pivot point right with transform origin, setting up the 3D camera with perspective, or creating that layered depth with multiple shadows? Drop your one-line answer in the comments below. I'm also adding the complete source code for this project in the pinned comment. You can check it out live on CodePen to experiment with the 3D effects and see exactly how everything works together. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.